Hi, welcome to our channel. Today we are just on a trip to buy something that I promised all of my subscribers I would get soon and install on the homestead. But we had to come here to my buddy's house, I'm backing up to my trailer right now. I had to come get my trailer, he was borrowing it for a while. So after we hook up the trailer, we're gonna take you along for the ride and show you exactly what we're getting. Here we are at one of my favorite places where I am a lot, and that's Home Depot, of course. And we've got a door for our new addition onto the house, but that's not what we are talking about today. We are talking about, all right, let's go over here. Glad I didn't have to drive an hour for this because it's gonna be fun trying to haul it back. There we go. 2,500 gallon Norwesco black water storage tank. That's what we're grabbing. That's what we're taking home and we're gonna do that water storage project for you. Gotcha. All right, I'm a sweaty mess, but this thing is finally strapped down, got the door in the truck. Let's get this thing home, it's really tall. I'm gonna show you exactly where we are gonna put it to collect our rainwater. And we got this beast home. Now it's time to set it up. And we are gonna set it up out here next to our barn. We figured this is the best place. It's got a straight run from that corner of the shop all the way to the house. And it's just a great location. It's at the high point on the property. So I've got all the roof over the shop and all the roof over the barn on this side to catch the rainwater and that is roughly uh, 1,010 square feet. So if you do the calculations, I should get around 560 gallons of water per inch of rainfall. And so this big 2,500 gallon tank should take, if it catches everything, should take five-ish, four and a half-ish inches of rain to fill the thing up. I think that's pretty good. Now my task for today is to get this thing off the trailer, but I need to level out and clear out all this area here. This is where I usually do my log splitting. I moved the log splitter. I've got some piles of bark that I was gonna use for compost. Ah, none of that's gonna work. I'm just gonna get it out of the way, level it so where I can catch it right up off the corner of the roof. I have a gutter for the back, I have to do all that and run all that, but we might have to dig down a little bit because my gutter is about at the height of the top of the tank. So I need a little bit of fall for the, uh, the leaf catchment system, the leaf filters and all that kind of stuff. I need to calculate all that to see how far I need to dig down, but we shouldn't have much of a problem with this position. And we've got about 10 feet of fall from here to the barn. Now, I talked to the gentleman and I don't know, um, I guess it's hydraulics very well, but the guy said that 10 feet of fall is only gonna get you about half a gallon per minute. So we need a pump to pump this anywhere uh, because just the pressure of the water and that little bit of fall is not gonna do much to actually get the water somewhere. So. We will have a pump, no big deal. But first things first, clearing this land and getting this thing set up. Well, I think I got it pretty flat. I'm not the best at leveling things out, but I think I've got a really nice base here to put this tank. Let's try and get it out of the trailer now. Okay. 
Well, I was able to muscle it off the trailer, but now I can't move it. It's just too heavy. I can't even slide it across the ground. I tried to devise a lever and try and kind of inch it with a lever, but that didn't work too well. So I didn't even show that to you guys. I'm going to have to come up with another idea. I've seen something before. Let me try it out. Well, here's the idea. I've got the tractor bucket underneath the edge of the tank. I've got this ratchet strap here in the center, and I've got another ratchet strap around that ratchet strap and attached to the bucket in the center. So the idea is to lift it up with the, uh, with the bucket. We'll see how it goes. I've seen it done before. And if not, I'll end up probably just trying to push it or nudge it with the tractor, which will probably, probably work as well but it won't be as precise. So I want to get this set in its uh, proper position. Let's give it a shot. That little trick worked well. Thanks Pete from Pete B Homestead. So we got the tank positioned somewhat where we want it, but I think I might need to still make some adjustments you can see the ends of the rafters right up there. That's where our gutter is going to hang off of. I'll probably put a fascia board on that so it's easier and um, more clean for that gutter to hang off of instead of just putting it on the ends of those uh, rafter tails. The old owner had one up here, as you can see the old bracket. But I'm going to change that up. We are above our tank, so that is good. I dug down maybe six inches when I flattened this out but I might need a little bit more dig out. So I'm not 100% sure yet. I have to get all the parts and pieces and that'll be the next video for you guys in this series. So if you're interested in that, stick around and subscribe. Thanks for joining us on our homesteading journey. Now go check out this video right here which shows you how we built a cool gray water reclamation system for our laundry and sinks. Have a blessed day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.